The human being is an animal who has received the vocation to become God. Though you speak to yourself in secret, your words are examined in heaven. What then will you answer the judge? You gorgeously array your walls, but do not clothe your fellow human being. You adorn horses, but turn away from the shameful plight of your brother or sister. You allow grain to rot in your barns, but do not feed those who are starving. You hide gold in the earth, but ignore the oppressed. First, let me say that we have already received from God the ability to fulfill all his commands. We have then no reason to resent them, as if something beyond our capacity were being asked of us. We have no reason either to be angry, as if we had to pay back more than we had received. I reckon silence more profitable than speech, for in the words of the preacher, the words of wise men are heard in quiet. Love of God is not something that can be taught. We did not learn from someone else how to rejoice in light or want to live or to love our parents or guardians. It is the same, perhaps even more so, with our love for God. It does not come by another's teaching. What is the mark of love for your neighbor? Not to seek what is for your own benefit, but what is for the benefit of the one loved, both in body and in soul. There is nothing unpremeditated, nothing neglected by God. His unsleeping eye beholds all things. Lust hath these three companions. The first, blindness of understanding. The second, hardness of heart. The third, want of grace. It is not he who begins well who is perfect. It is he who ends well who is approved in God's sight. Verse 